G'day, Alistair here. If you were using a computer in the late 80s, 90s or early 2000s, you might remember this kind of cable. So you might be familiar with this ribbon cable. There are 80 wires on this cable, only 40, 40 of which actually uh, being used. Uh, the other, every second cable or every second wire is ground, but it's an 80 wire ATA cable. So this is parallel ATA as opposed to serial ATA, which is what is uh, more traditionally loose. So that's, that's the serial ATA cable. And that, that's the parallel, parallel ATA or, or IDE. Now, I mention this because I've got here uh, a couple of DVD drives and I wanted to see if I could keep them going. And so I bought this card off AliExpress, which has got a IDE connector and a couple of a couple of SATA connectors as well. So let's have a quick pull of this card out and have a look. So that's the card there. It's a um, PCI Express card. We've got our IDE connector and there's a couple of um, SATA ports on the end there, which is not focusing on, and a couple of eSATA ports, which I've never used eSATA, so I have no idea if that is actually useful for anything. Um, but yes, basically, I bought it from AliExpress. I can barely read the chip, what it is on there, but I did Google the BIOS message when it flashed up. And so I used that to find drivers because Windows didn't have uh, didn't automatically detect the device, unfortunately, uh, which would have been nice. But I will leave a link to this card I purchased on AliExpress, and if I can find the uh, where I downloaded the the uh, drivers from, it was one of those uh, driverdownload.com or something like that type websites. Which you know I left the uh, pull the network cable out when I installed it just to make sure it didn't. Uh, the computer didn't disappear into a fiery ball of crypto malware or something like that, but um, that that all worked. And that um, so, if you have an old IDE device and you want to be able to still use it, then this is definitely a possible possibility. If you're just wanting to extract data, then uh, a um, USB cable is probably a better option. So yeah, links in the description below. So this is the card I purchased from AliExpress. It's about six US dollars or so uh, plus shipping and if we look carefully we can read that as a, a, a JMB363 and that is actually what what I received if you purchase it what you receive might actually be slightly different but um, the, <laughs> given the nature of AliExpress but that that was uh, what I got and to get the drivers I went to driverguide.com and yeah so search for the, the, the JMB driver and there's, there's the my model there and it seems to work perfectly fine. So download the driver, not the um, utility and um, yeah, get some file and then get Windows to install it, uh, update the driver. I, in fact, I think there's an executable from, from memory. But anyway, so thanks for watching. I'm Alistair. If you are needing a uh, IDE you know, connect up an ID, ID device, then um, this card is definitely a possibility and possibly one of hundreds of others on AliExpress. So I'll catch you in the next video.